Hello and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of Canva so you know what everything is and how to use it all. So let's get straight into it. First of all, if you go to canva.com, this will be the page that you get to. As you can see, you want to sign up with Facebook, Google or with your email address. I've already done that. I've signed up with my email address. As you can see, my username and password, my email and my password is already there. So I just need to click log in. But yeah, all you need to do is click sign up with Facebook if you want to use Facebook. Obviously, if you want to use Google, you can use Google and then the one that most people would use is signing up with your email address. So yeah, just click that and then start signing up. Uh, once you're done, head over and log in and I'll do that now and we'll get to the same screen. So log in. And now I am logged in. Okay, so once you've logged in, these designs here, you will not see any of these. These are all things that I've made. I made this in another Canva course actually. Um, that was published a few months ago from the day of recording this video. Um, yeah, so these have already been made in another course, but in this course what we're going to be doing is making YouTube thumbnails. But before that, we're going to be giving an overview of this entire website. I was going to say program, but it's not really, is it? Because it's, it's just all online. It's absolutely fantastic. They also have an app on iOS and Android, so you can use your iPhone or your iPad or your Android phone or your tablet, and you can do it all from there as well. The apps don't have as many features though, so I'd always recommend using the website. So let's get straight into it. First of all, as you can see here on the left, you've got your email address, your account that you've signed up with, your email address, account settings, personal profile. None of that is too important, so you can skip past that. And then uh, you have notifications, which is just random updates and things like that. And then you have create a design. I've never used that button once, so you can ignore that as you're going to want to use other buttons instead. So we'll get into that in a second. And then we have all of your designs, which is this page we're on now. Shared with you, which is where someone has shared a design with you. Create a team, which is what you can do with the paid subscription to Canva, so the pro version, but you're not going to need that, so don't worry, ignore create a team. Your brand, you don't need to use that either. And then explore templates, that's just where you can get even more templates, but you don't even need it. So you can also skip past that. And then we have add new folder, so you can actually um, put all your different designs into folders, but I've not really bothered doing that because it's not really that important. And then finally you have trash, which is where if you go to this little arrow here and click move to trash, it will just move it to trash so it's not in your uh, main page and it will then be out of the way. So that is absolutely fantastic. Okay, so then as you can see here, these are all your main designs. As soon as you click create on a design, on a template, sorry, it will save it to your design page. So this is all where all your designs are on the home page. So let's get into creating a design. As you can see at the top here, it says create a design. Logo, all of these are presets that are there for you, but this is not all of them. If you want to click more, just here, it will load up absolutely all of them. So that's absolutely fantastic. As you can see here, you've got the popular ones, social media posts, documents, and then blogging and ebooks, marketing materials, social media and email headers, events, and finally ads or adverts. Uh, so yeah, that is all of them. So it's absolutely fantastic. There's loads of different presets. We are just going to click on YouTube thumbnail. We're not going to be making one in this video. We're just going to be going over everything there is, which is really easy to do as this program is fantastic. Oh, I just got it a program. Sorry, no, it's not. It's a website. So as you can see here, these are all the pre-made layouts. You can just click on it and then edit it to how you need it to be. But I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to click Control Z and it will just undo. Or you can click undo with this button here or file and save, make a copy, magic resize or change dimensions. None of that's really important as it auto saves anyway, but it is handy to save sometimes too. And then if you've accidentally undone something, you can just click redo there. So that's really helpful. If you need any help from the Canva support team, you can just click help here. So they're really helpful people and they'll help you out. And there's also a um, forum section on there. So there's just forums where people have put where they need help and frequently asked questions and all different sorts of stuff like that. Going along the top bar here, you can rename your file. So here you can see test file, and then you can share it to others, which is nice and easy. Just click share, and then you can share it with an email address on Facebook or Twitter. You can give someone the link, and then you can embed it into a website. So that's absolutely awesome. And then you have download. So as you can just see here, we change the file name. So when you download it, it will be called test file dot and then depending on if it's if you choose, um, let me just add that again, as you can see, because you actually need something in it to be able to uh, save it. Depending on if it's a PNG, PDF, PDF standard, PDF print, animated GIF, 
which is uh, very new actually. That's only uh, been on here for a few days, I think. So that might not work as like it says, it's experimental or JPEG or JPG, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, so it'll be test file dot and then whatever the file name extension is for that. So that's really helpful. And then you can make it public or private just like that. But I'm not going to do that because I want it just to be for me. Um, I will actually, the designs we make, I'll make them public so that all of you can edit them and use them for yourself as well. So that's really good. Okay, so we've gone through the layouts. All you can do is just scroll down through all the layouts. Sorry, someone's just started cutting their grass if you can hear a bit of background noise, but just ignore that. You can just scroll through all the layouts and choose your favorite one. So if you're making a video about burgers or cooking or something like that, or anything really, you can just choose the one based on what you need it for. Okay. Next we have search. This is where you can search for an image. If I search iPhone, it will just come up with pictures of iPhones. They don't have it updated that well, but there's a few new iPhones in here, but not many. As the top one, as you can see, I think that's an iPhone 4. And yeah, so a few iPhone 4s at the top there. So yeah, next we have, um, well, you can select it. So if you want all or photos, just photos, and then just illustrations. These are all just the illustrations that you can choose from. And then obviously you can just scroll through them all. And then we have elements. There is absolutely tons of elements. And most of the ones I've got here are with the Pro. I've got the free 30 day trial of the uh, Pro subscription. So I'm not actually paying for it. As you can see, free and it's got a crown next to it, which means it's with the Pro. So any of the ones that don't have the crown are absolutely fine. Anyone can use them for free. As you can see, free photos, absolutely tons of them just there. I'll close that. And then we have grids and then we have frames. They're both really useful. And then we have shapes, which is great. Lines, these are really good. You can add these in nice and easily. And then all of the all of the illustrations. So you don't have to search through them if you don't want to. You can just look through them. Next, we have icons. As you can see, these are all nice and easy to get to. Nice icons. They just load in as you scroll down. As you can see, there's just absolutely tons of them. And I'll get rid of that. And then there's charts. These are charts that you can put in and actually put data in. So as you can see, you can edit all of the data inside it, wherever you want to edit it. But I'm just going to delete that as I do not need a chart. And then we have iHeart Canva, which is just where Canva has all of their own little images that they've made, which is fantastic. They're nice, nice images. And that's really uh, for advertising. That's really for advertising Canva and uh, yeah, just showing your support really. So that's cool. And then these are all the pro ones, so I'm not going to go through them. You can just go through them on your own as you probably understand what they all are. You can just nice and easily just click it. As you can see, that's pictures of people. And then we've got, oh, and then we've got pictures of food. See, so that's nice and easy. And then we have text. With this, you can add your heading or subtitle or body text. And then there's also loads of different presets um, where the text has been edited with uh, shapes and things like that. So it looks cooler. So as you can see, there's a square here with the text in the middle of it. I'll delete that though. It's getting in the way. And then once you've got your text, click it and then click this bit just here. And you can change your font, change your font size, change your color for your text, uh, set it as bold, italic. Some fonts aren't available to go on bold and italic. So they'll be grayed out if that's the case and center it. So you can align it to the left, right or the center, capitalize it or leave it normal and then as it oh, and then put them all in bullet points so that's nice and easy and finally you can change the spacing and line height so that's just making it have more space between the letters and more or less space between the lines and then there's obviously anchors so you can anchor it to where you want to anchor it but that's just a bit more in depth and that's not too important really after that you can copy arrange so say you don't want this to be in front of this you can put this here so as you can see this is above that so you can click on this click arrange and back and now this text here is above it as you can see is there's no point doing that obviously that's more for images and shapes and things like that or just making sure your text is above images and then we have copy so there's now two of them which is awesome change the transparency so it's like yep you can easily change that and then you can apply a link which isn't really very useful considering <laughs> and then you can delete it so there you go I've deleted that next we have background 
This is where you can change the background style. As you can see, there's images here, so you won't see the background. Um, but as you can see, that would change the style behind there. You can change the background color. So if I set that to that color, oh, if I set that to, if I just move out all of these out of the way, if I set that to that color, you can see that it goes green. And that's the entire background. And so I select all of this and delete it. You can see the background is now green. And you can just change the color however you want it, which is absolutely fantastic. You can then add a new page with this button here, clone a page with this button here, and delete pages with this recycle bin button here. So that is nice and easy. And the pages are all numbered for your ease of use. So say you've got loads of different pages, I'll just make sure there's two, and then you go to download it. It will download as a zip if you download them all, but if you want to choose one particular one, you can just click the number and it will just download that one. So that's nice and easy. And then we have, if you've got a um, item with a transparent background, you can also just set it as a transparent background, otherwise it will just have a white background. Um, after that we have uploads, this is where you can upload your own images, logos, uh, I think logos is just for the pro, so you need the free 30 day trial for that. But yeah, you can upload your own images nice and easily. As you can see, that's a future course image. Um, that course will probably up soon. That's for the uh, net worth saving one. But yeah, just ignore that. And then you can see a few images I've, uh, I've uploaded down here, um, like my website and things like that. But yeah, that is absolutely everything, I think. I think I've gone through everything. Quite a long video, but now you know absolutely everything about Canva and how to use absolutely everything. So... Yeah, it's really easy to use. It's really, really, really easy to use. It's free, unless you want the pro items, which aren't really that good. It's just you can add your own fonts and different things like that that they haven't already added in. But yeah, that is Canva. So hopefully you know how to use Canva now. We'll get into actually making some thumbnails in the next few sections. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for listening to it. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helped you. And goodbye.